understand what happens under a monetary policy. Let me first do out the mechanism for you, for you to understand it better. So what we're going to go ahead and do is that we're going to say, so please understand this thing. See, under a fiscal policy, there is an increase in the level of GDP. Under monetary policy, there is increase in the level of the money supply. Okay. Now, when there was, and, and supposedly initially only you were at full employment level. Already. So, you know, what happened is that when your IS and LM were meeting, they were meeting here. This was your interest rate and you already were at your equilibrium level of output. Now, when there was an increase in G, your IS shifted to the right. So ideally what happened is that your output increased. People were demanding more output than was the amount available in the market. So the prices started increasing. So this increase in G caused an increase in the price level. When the prices started increasing, then the real money supply started decreasing. So back in the money market, if this was the supply of money and this was the demand of money and this was the initial interest rate, right? Back in the money market, the supply of money started decreasing in the real terms because P started shooting up. So MS by P decreased and you saw an increase in the interest rate. So, because that happened, the LN started shifting backward because there was a decrease in the money supply, although real money supply. So, LN started shooting backward and there was an increase in the interest rate and you went back to the same level of output because this is the full employment level of output. You cannot exceed this. That's what is important. This is what my final output is. I cannot produce more than full employment level of output. So there was full crowding out. So you started with a fiscal policy. Please understand this. You started with a fiscal policy, but this fiscal policy was followed by a corresponding monetary policy. The fiscal policy was expansionary and the monetary policy was contractionary. Now let's talk about the monetary policy. Supposedly, instead of this, you start with the monetary policy. So at, for here first, for this case, when, when we were talking about the fiscal policy, what happened in the ADA space? AS was vertical because you were always at full employment level of output. This was your initial AD. And then AD shifted to the right because there was increase in G, which led to increase in the prices. This happened there, right? As part of the fiscal policy. Now, even as part of the monetary policy, when I talk about the ADA space, so, you know, remember my previous lecture, I told you whether there is a monetary policy or a fiscal policy. Either it's a monetary expansionary policy or a fiscal expansionary policy, both of them are going to shift the AD to the right. Right. So basically what is happening here also when there is a monetary policy also, my AS is at full employment level. I'm talking about a classical case. This is my AD. 
and my AD is shifting to the right. So there is an increase in the prices. Whenever demand will increase more than supply, prices have to shoot up. Now, but this was a monetary policy, right? So if I talk about the IS LM space, if this is my IS and this is my LM, then in the IS LM space, we are having my equilibrium here at this interest rate and this Y. But this Y is only full employment level of output. I'm already at full employment level. Now we introduce a monetary policy. We increase the supply of money. That's a monetary policy that actually shifted my AD to the right. So when the supply of money increases, if I talk about the money market, what would have happened? This was my initial supply of money, MS by P. When MS increased, MS by P also increased, right? So you shift it to the right. And this was your demand of money. So basically there was a decrease in the interest rate. Now, please think, when money supply increased, there was a corresponding increase in the aggregate demand and the prices started shooting up, right? So whether it is a fiscal policy or a monetary policy, because there is increase, because there is increase in the aggregate demand, the price will shoot up. So even when there is an increase in the supply of money, just see this carefully, there is an increase in the supply of money. This is going to increase the prices because aggregate demand in the background increases. Now, when this is going to happen, uh, the prices have started increasing, MS by P will start decreasing because P is now increasing. So understand what happened here. I had some MS by P. When MS started increasing, this MS by P started increasing because numerator was increasing. But now because this increased, the aggregate demand increased. When aggregate demand increased, prices increased. When prices increased, MS by P again started decreasing. So what really happened here is that, you know, this had increased, this moves backward to its own position. I started from A, I go to B, and I again go back to A. So A to B happened because supply of money increased. And B to A happens because the prices also increase. So the real money supply decreases. So prices increased. So when that happens, ideally what I'm saying is LM shifted from E to E dash. And then after you shifted here, you shifted backward because prices also increased, right? So what happened is that prices have increased. So this market is correct. That in, in the ADA space, I go from an equilibrium E to E dash. But here in this space, ideally nothing happens. In the IS LM space, LM shifts to the right and back to the left. Here also in this space, nothing happens. Supply of money shifts to the right and back to the left. So ideally, if I talk about this, an expansionary monetary policy at full employment level. An expansionary monetary policy at full employment level. Is followed by a contractionary monetary policy at full employment. So expansionary is followed by contractionary monetary policy. So LM curve shifts right and back shift left. Here, not, that doesn't happen. Here, when IS shifts to the right, LM shifts to the left. Because whether it is this case, fiscal policy or monetary policy, in either case, the prices are increasing. When price will increase, LM has to shift backward. But here, initially, the LM only shifted to the right. And here, initially, the IS shifted to the right. So this is what we are saying. 
monetary expansion ad shifts from ad to ad dash equilibrium becomes from e to e dash because of the demand being more than the supply the prices start shooting up so when the prices starts shooting up you go above 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 you reach e double dash you move along the ad curve and the equilibrium becomes e double dash so this is the case of the monetary policy